Because kind of books have seen much of uh, evolution since their last year. Has there been much evolution? Um, um, I mean, we don't watch a ton of film like on what we on last season, but we're definitely evolving in spring ball as the stuff that. Um, well, everything's new for me right now. So, um, what's new come season that you guys didn't see last year? You know, we'll just have to wait and see. How much have you learned from Joe stepping in being that he was the only guy that was around? Yeah, I think I've, uh, Joe's taught me a few things for sure. I think uh, someone asked me a question regarding that a little earlier, and I, what I was just saying is that I have experience, he has experience, and Pickin has experience at a different school. So I think you know the combination of the three of us were able to communicate very well. And, um, it's a good room. We're a bunch of dudes who are just trying to get better right now. Even though you haven't been able to do a ton of work, you're standing 11 on 11. It's a bit difficult to build some chemistry because these two guys that you throw the ball to. I don't think so. Um, the way that practice has been laid out, it's given me a lot of opportunities to throw to the guys. We've had multiple, like we'll do multiple sessions of individual where I'm throwing routes on air, and then we'll do uh, more seven on seven. Currently, we've been doing more seven on seven than years in past, which is awesome for me because I can do seven on seven. So, really, we've been getting a ton of work in the first half of practice. I'm able to throw to these guys and get chemistry with them. So, um, if anything, the way that Coach Ferentz is. Regarding I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I think, you know, we're going to do everything we can to, you know, get our best players involved. And what that looks like, we'll find out in camp. I mean, the spring is all about how individually can we get better, and then uh, how we can get better individually and as a team. And then um, come camp, it's about you know what's, what are the things that are going to help us win football games. And well, there's 12 personnel, 11 personnel, 13 personnel, and then we'll see. Is this a matter of uh, for you not to participate in the Let's just kind of just avoid the, the freak accident, so they actually step on your foot and twist. Is that kind of the reason why we're participating? Um, well, I'm very close to 100%, but I'm not yet, so there's no, I mean, it would be bad for me to be less healthy and go out there for that reason. I mean, yes, we're all trying to get better, but um, I don't want to create, like, like I don't want to be compensating for something um, when in reality, like, I can just be, I'm getting mental reps, like, I'm not, like, checked out in practice, like, I'm doing everything I can on the mental side to get um, as locked in as I can, and um, really just it's on a medical timeline. There's no reason why, because I want to be out there doing a lot of work. No, I, I, I hear there's a flaw in the body. I heard about how you have kind of made a point to end each huddle with a clap. What's kind of been the philosophy behind it? Um, I think it's just there's a process and a way that we should be setting ourselves. Um, obviously, we want to get a good break every single time because otherwise it just looks sloppy, and that's not the expectation we want for ourselves. I think every time we we hear about you, talk about you, it's chip on your shoulder, you a big time competitor. I guess for you, when you hear all the things about Iowa, Iowa's offense, do you have, do you have to find a balance? Thanks, for you? Blocking out the noise, or do you like hearing the noise because it just puts that extra chip on your shoulder? How do you kind of balance that? Um, well, I kind of limit. I mean, I'm not like on the internet like a ton or like, looking for things. So usually, like whatever gets to me is what I hear. And so if they're going to talk about all this, that's fine. If they want to, you know, whatever. The only people that matter is who are the building. I've heard the energy is with the offense. It's just different. The what? The energy? Yeah. Is that something that you and you and Eric focus on, bring into the thing you practice every day? I think as a unit, that's how we want to approach it. That we want to be different. We want to, you know, we want to hold ourselves to a higher expectation. And, I think that's a result of that, that we're gaining some confidence and you know, not just in um, each other, but you know, the philosophy and you know, our abilities right now.